Hey everyone, it's time to talk about the June update to Lightroom CC and the whole Lightroom CC ecosystem. So I've got Lightroom CC, the update that just came out, plus I've got Lightroom CC running on my iPhone or Android device. And of course we have Lightroom on the web. Let's dive in to see what's new. I'm gonna first start off with Lightroom on the desktop. I've got Lightroom CC open here. I've got an image open. If I head over to the editing, of course you know that you've got the ability to make this look any way you want. You can increase or decrease the exposure. You can, of course, go into the presets and you can save what you just did and create a preset. That's awesome. But here's what's new. Not only can you create presets like you did before, but you've got the ability to import presets. And more importantly, your presets will now sync over to Lightroom on your other devices, including for the first time, Lightroom on mobile. So for example, I've got a preset from Lightroom Classic. Let's just go ahead and import it. I've got a couple actually that I want to use. And let's just simply scroll down and find the one that I want. There it is. I've already got this Chevelle 3, but I want to go ahead and get Chevelle 1 and Chevelle 2 while I'm at it. And I will go ahead and import those in. And of course they've dropped right into my, um, my user presets. Now the, the beauty of it is those are now syncing across the cloud. So when I go to Lightroom CC on my mobile device, they will be there as well. And of course I can click on any one of these and apply that preset to that particular image. But it gets better. Let's go in and copy everything we've done to this particular, uh, this particular photo, copy settings. And now also for the first time in Lightroom CC, we've got the ability to select multiple photos and of course, go in and paste all of those um, settings to the same photo. So, long time coming, glad it's finally here. Now let me go ahead and switch over to Lightroom CC on my mobile device. And of course, uh, those images just synced in. We just saw them uh, flash across the top there. So I've got the same exact edits. So if I were to go back and tap on one of those photos, and slide over to my presets. I now have those same presets that we were just looking at, the tone, Chevelle Tone 1, Chevelle Tone 2, that I just brought over into Lightroom CC on the desktop. So I can tap and choose between those or choose a completely different look. Um, and I've got a nice one up here for a burgundy split tone. I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. So awesome to be able to do that now on mobile. And of course you can now create presets on mobile that will sync back to the desktop as well. So it's not just a one way street. Now the next thing I'm excited about, this is something I've been wanting for a long time. You see that little piece of paper down there on the grass to the right of the model there? It'd be great if I can just take that out here in Lightroom non-destructively just like I do on a desktop. Well, now I can. I've got the healing brush uh, just like I do on the desktop. So if I tap the healing brush, I've got the ability, to, of course, to change the size of it. I'm just dragging up and down like I do in most of my mobile apps here. I even have feather control, so I can uh, increase or decrease the softening of that particular one. And of course, I can either tap or just simply paint out that piece of paper, and it will grab a spot to pull in from, just like it does on a, des does on a desktop. And voila, the paper is gone. Oh, wait, I see a little bit of remnant from it. Let's go ahead and go back to it just really quick. And let's simply move that adjustment over because it is non-destructive. And of course, I can get that to look the way I want. Now, the other thing that is, is great is I can also choose where it's going to pull from just like you do on the desktop. So I think that's a better spot to pull from. I can go ahead and move that around as well and get rid of that paper. Brush some more, make the brush bigger, however you want to do it. But at the end of the day, the paper is now gone and that's what I wanted. All right, and of course that will sync those non-destructive changes back over to the desktop as well. So in Lightroom CC, just a quick recap, you've not only got the ability to create presets, save your presets, import presets and profiles, and sync presets and profiles across the Lightroom CC ecosystem. So whether I create the pre preset on my mobile device or create it on a desktop, I've got it in both places. I've got the ability to apply the same adjustments across multiple photos. And of course, I've got the ability now on mobile to use the spot removal tool or the healing brush 
so that I can remove things without having to go to Photoshop every single time and do a destructive workflow. So that's it, folks. That's the June update for Lightroom CC. Stay tuned. We'll be having more as soon as more becomes available. Cheers, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.